Disconnect the battery, the negative terminal, use an eight millimeter wrench, loosen up this terminal. And slide it off and out of the way. Now I'm gonna remove the wheel, use a 19 millimeter socket. Take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. Underneath, if you have a panel right here, you wanna take that panel off. This vehicle doesn't have it. We're gonna start with taking this wheel well out. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take these three bolts out. Underneath here, take all these push pins out. They go all along underneath. And this continues to this side over here. If you want, you can just take this side out and fold it over. We're gonna take the whole thing out. Just use a trim tool. out of the way. Now take this cover off, same push pins, you have one, two, and then you have a third on the back side. Take those out. And slide that out of the way. We're gonna take the belt off. I'm gonna use a belt tensioner tool. You might be able to access this from above and take that off, but we'll just get it off from down here. It's a little bit tricky to see. It's on the opposite side of the tensioner where you would expect. Just get that in. Try to slide the belt <clears throat> off the crank pulley. And there we go. And just take the belt off. Set that aside. We need to remove the compressor or at least move it out of the way. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench and there's a nut on the end of this stud. Loosen this up. Now we, we don't have a way to remove the refrigerant out of the system, so we want to keep those lines connected. Make sure you don't take those lines off. Take that nut off. And take this bolt out. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And there's another bolt on top. Just use that same 13 millimeter socket. It's kind of hard to see, so you kind of have to do it bl blindly. All the bolts are loose, but this stud is in our way. So we have to take that stud out. Use a five millimeter wrench and get it loosened. All right, that's loose. Slide this out of the way a little bit. You can see the oil filters in the way. I'm gonna take that oil filter off later. I'm gonna take the oil filter out of the way, just let it drain into a bucket. Be a good idea to change your oil at this time. And move the compressor back. If you want to, you can disconnect the connector. Just push on the tab, just so the wire is not being uh, tension too much. And just slide this back just like that. Now you can access some of the alternator bolts. 
loosen this bolt up. You don't have to take it out completely. Use a 15 millimeter socket. All right, take this bolt out. Even though it's slotted right there, it is. it does go in on the back side. And there's a nut. You might want to grab that nut if it falls out. No, nope, the nut's not going to fall out. Just pull that out. There you go. Disconnect the cable, the battery positive cable. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Take that nut off. And there's a connector right here. Just reach down in there, it's kind of tight in here. And push on the button, slide the connector out. Or if you have to, you can use a screwdriver, just push on the button, slide the connector out. Just like that. To access some of this area, you can move some stuff out of the way. This is the washer fluid fill. I'm just gonna take this bolt out, use an eight millimeter socket to get, gain a little bit of access. And just kind of push it out of your way a little bit. And right through here, if you take a 15 millimeter socket, you can get on the nut that's on the top of the alternator. Right there. It's a little bit tight. Loosen that up. Keep this hose out of the way. And slide it out. And take a pry bar and just underneath here. Just pry the alternator out. And just try to grab it. And you need to slide it towards the outside of the car. It's still stuck on the stud up top. Just slide it forward. All right, just slid it off the stud. And just slide it down. We're going to support the cradle with a screw jack. And we're going to loosen up these two nuts on the front. Use a 21 millimeter socket. Take those off. And this one as well. Slowly just rotate the screw jack down. And just lower this down a little bit. To get the extra clearance we need from the cradle, we're gonna loosen up the nuts on the rear. There is a bracket right here. I'm just gonna take these bolts, they're 15 millimeter, and loosen those up. I'm not gonna take them out completely, just have them loose. Then very carefully, you're gonna loosen up the nut without taking it out completely. Just like that. Same on this side. Just have them loose. Now just lower this down. You use the long pry bar. Pops right out. Take the new alternator, 
and just slide it in position. Might have to adjust how you slide it in. Slide it in. It might be a little bit helpful if you take that pulley out also, but you got it in without that. And slide it over that stud up top. Before I put the cradle up, it's going to be a little easier to get everything all buttoned up underneath here. So I'm just going to put everything back from underneath, put the bolt that goes into the alternator back in, get that started. I'm going to tighten this bolt down. And you can torque this bolt to 35 foot-pounds. And take the AC compressor and line that up. Get the bolt started and the stud underneath. That's good. And put this other bolt in and get the nut on as well. And snug these all up. And snug it up. Connect the compressor wiring harness or the connector. Again, it's going to be a little easier to put the serpentine belt on now. So just slide it over the alternator, down by the compressor, around the tensioner. Then put the tensioner tool on, get that in position. Get the tensioner tool in position and just walk the belt on. And get the belt around the crank pulley and just double check, make sure it's around all the pulleys correctly. That looks good. Now let's raise the cradle up and put the cradle nuts back in. And put the washer on and put the nut on. Same with the other side. The torque for all the nuts is 111 foot-pounds. Torque those. For this rear bracket, tighten these rear bolts down. And drop the screw jack down. And make sure you put your oil filter back on or a new one if you're changing your oil. And snug it up. Once it's snug, another quarter turn. Now put the nut on the top of the alternator and snug it down. It's going to be hard to get a torque wrench in there. And 
and snug it up. If you can get a torque wrench in here, you can torque this to 35 foot-pounds. That's good. We can put this washer filler neck back in position, put the bolt in, and then snug it down. And connect the connectors, get this cable lined up. Push the connector down, lock it in place. That's good. With the cable, I have a lock washer that came with the alternator. Yours may not have that. Put that over the stud and then put the nut that goes on after. And you can torque this nut to 106 inch-pounds. Make sure you're on inch-pounds, not foot-pounds. Now put this panel back in and put the push pins back in. So put two push pins over here and then two over on this side. Now install the inner fender well. Just get it lined up. Underneath, put these screws back in. Get them all lined up first. And if you have a panel, put that panel back up right there. Install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm gonna to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a star pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Reconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Take your wrench and snug it up. Make sure you check your oil level and top it off if you need to.